What up? Casey here with Living Youthful. Welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, please hit that subscribe button. Today we're jumping back into BPC 157, TB500, and GHKCU. I'm going to give you guys all the protocols so that way you can start researching these peptides at home together. And not only that, we're going to be talking about combining all these peptides in the same syringe so that way it takes down the pain level. Many people were reporting after injecting the peptide GHKCU, they have pain in that area for days after. All right, so we know that the BPC-157 is great at targeting wounded tissue areas, and it's also great with inflammation. That's why this BPC-157 is gonna be very beneficial combining it with the GHKCU. It's either gonna be able to take away that pain all the way, or at least it'll be more tolerable. I'm gonna be doing 500 micrograms of BPC-157 and TB-500. You can research the peptides in separate vials, but I like the blend personally. And then I'm gonna be doing 2000 micrograms of the GHKCU. What we're gonna be doing now is we're gonna be combining all these peptides together in the same syringe. So that way you guys can get the same benefits as me with not feeling any pain from the GHKCU. It does take down the burning sensation. It takes down the stinging sensation. And I hope, I really hope it helps you guys with overall pain management and you won't have any pain for days after. So now let's get into it. This is what we're gonna be doing today. I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to combine all these peptides in the same syringe so that way you can make your vials of peptides last longer with the potency and stability, okay? Try to keep your peptides away from the light as much as possible. So that's why I cover them like this. So what we're gonna be doing is extracting from the GHKCU vial first. The reason is there's 50 milligrams in this vial. So I don't wanna be extracting from a vial that's only gonna last 10 days when this is gonna last 25 days. So I'd rather extract from this vial first to make sure I don't jiggle it around. Right now, we're gonna extract to the 12 mark on my one ML syringe. That's gonna be 2000 micrograms. So what I wanna do is just find the center of this vial, stick it in, turn it upside down. I'm gonna put my finger right here to help rest it. And then I'm just gonna pull till this 12 mark. Boom, I'm at the 12 mark. Now I wanna flip it back this way and pull it out. That way it doesn't create air bubbles when it's upside down. Perfect. And then I'm gonna take this one and then you're gonna to wanna to hold the plunger, all right? So it's gonna be a little bit difficult because if you don't hold the plunger, the liquid that's in there is gonna shoot into this vacuum sealed bottle. So you guys are gonna to have to be careful, all right? So you find the center of the vial, stick it in, boom. Now you wanna turn this upside down. I've already gone to the 12 mark, so I need to go to right here, all right? That's 2,000 micrograms of GHKCU, and it's 500 micrograms of BPC-157 and 500 micrograms of TB-500. That's all in the same syringe here. Let's pull down, make sure there's no air bubbles. I messed up but you can put this right here just like that for now. All right, I should have wiped myself first. Wiped my butt first. So I'm just gonna inject it into my stomach. This is where I feel the most pain if I ever do research GHKCU. I feel it in my stomach. So what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna take this area three inches away from my belly button and around is the area you can do, or you can do top of your glutes in this area, okay? Right there, you can just inject it in there. But let's do the stomach area. I'm gonna do right here, around the L and the A, wipe it down. And then I'm gonna take my peptide, pinch, push. And look it, no redness, no bump, and most of all, no pain. I've been combining these peptides and injecting it into my glute and my stomach for the last two weeks now. I have not received any discomfort or any type of pain. All right, so I do have a couple quick new protocols for the BPC-157 and TB-500. I will be making a new video on this as it is very important that I get you guys these new updates. So BPC-157, 
can be researched at 500 micrograms for four to six months with a 30 day break afterward. TB500, same protocol, 500 micrograms, four to six months with a 30 day break afterward. GHKCU, if you are mixing these peptides together, the GHKCU can only be researched for one to three months. It has to have a 30 day break for the copper in the peptide. The copper can cause toxicity if researched for too long without any breaks. It is also better for receptor sites. So I'm hoping that people that really do get the bad side effect from the GHKCU, the copper in the peptide, it really, really minimalizes that pain, takes it away, pretty much subsiding or not having any at all. When you're done with your needles, always be sure to dispose of them correctly. Put them in a hazmat box. I also wanted to say, if I am not returning your message within 24 hours, I am sorry. My whole goal is to be able to return your comments and messages within 24 hours. I have been slammed with work and also just getting a much more comments. So please be patient with me. I will get around to you. And uh, with that being said, this is Casey with Living Youthful. If this video has brought you value, please hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and we'll see you in the next one.